Hello, doggies. What did you say? It shows how little you come out here. That you didn't even notice the avocado tree was budding. Rude. I water it all the time. Rude. You never water it. Rude, rude, That's key rude. key to plants and animals. You have to water and feed them. Jess wants this egg. I feel like I haven't been on this channel in a minute. That's not your fault. I know, but. 100% your fault. Well, nobody's posted okay. on this channel in a minute. Well, you were posting for a little bit. I know, we kind of slacked oh, off, but. I've been posting the whole time. I don't think you've posted a video. Well, I was for a while, but then you started doing like the fish farm stuff. I don't think you posted a video. Yes, I have before. Well, I was film at least. You would edit and post. There you go. Well, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, wait, when did you ever post a YouTube video? No, I probably have. I, I probably don't have. think so. Okay, well, anyways, been a little MIA, but we have some yard updates, Spaghetti Farm stuff, and we and we want to talk to you guys about our pool, maybe get some insight on that. Okay, where should we start? Should we start with? I got the... an egg, and Jess is trying to take it. Yeah, Jess is in love with eggs. She. She found one the other day and ate the entire thing, but let's see it. Just one today? Just one. They've been a little slow lately. Yeah. Maybe I need to try switching their food. No. No. She no. Wants the egg. No. We haven't gotten enough for you to be able to take them. Here goes one of the chickens. One update is we lost a chicken. Yes, we are down one chicken, so we need to get Do you want to give more. them the story on what happened? Yeah, after we got back from TX2K, I come home and I'm looking around the yard and I see all the chickens are here the the day after we got home. They're all here and I'm looking around and Roteen is acting weird. And like hiding and acting mm -hmm. like not like her normal self. And then the next day she was gone. Like, yeah. There was like a little pile of Rotini feathers over there. Rotini was a little brown one and we loved her. She literally acted like a dog. Like she would come up to you, you would around, go and pet her. Around. Yeah. yeah. Why so, are you acting so bad? She's obsessed with the chickens. Stop acting so, so bad. Um, so we have, we wait. How many chickens? Do, we had six, and now we have five. And they were for a while. We were getting like four eggs a day, and then the past like week, Cooper's only found like one or two out here. So I don't know what's up with that. Fish farm, do you have any updates on like if you're gonna do anything else with that? I haven't yeah, really asked you that. Yeah, I was kind of waiting till it got a little warmer and I was thinking about ordering some more fish. That's what I'm for where I put the egg. <laughs> Where'd you put it? I put it up on top. Oh my God. I can't with these two, they're too smart. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. Coop. Um, yeah, all, this, all coop? the fish died. So I'm just waiting for it to warm up to, I guess, warm up to get yeah. some more fish. Yep. So you are gonna get more again? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think I'll give it another go. All right. It was fun. I wanted to raise You probably really. should do that soon then because it's not gonna yeah. get like cold again. It'll be warm for a while. I know, I've been putting it off. Yeah, and then I don't know if, we probably did Avocado. show this. Our grapefruit tree doesn't really have any buds at the moment. Yeah, our grapefruit tree here. The dogs have been dying for some grapefruits to play with, but there is none. No buds. And then our avocado tree, I just noticed this today, mm -hmm. has some little sprouts on it. Yep, little <laughs> avocado <laughs> sprouts. I wonder what they would look like There's on the bunch. inside right now. Good yeah, there amount. is a ton. It's so exciting. I'm really excited for this. Yeah, Avocados are like the worst to buy at the grocery store because they go brown so quick. So like, Six, seven, eight. Having them here is so exciting. It's like 13 sprouts, 14 sprouts. Did right you now? count over here, these three? I think so. Yeah, there is a lot. Yeah, pretty good. I mean, the guy said he only got eight from it last year and we're already looking like we have more sprouts than that. But... How long do you think we've had this for now? Like um, a year? I don't think it's been a year yet. No? Hmm. No, I don't think yet. But it's that... getting closer to a year. It's really exciting me. Yeah, they look good. They look like a real avocado. Yep. So it's miniature, miniature avocado. <laughs> miniature avocado. Wow. Um, what else? Anything um, else? We've been. I gotta fix the lawnmower. Broke. Lawnmower. <laughs> Our house is like disheveled right now. Not really, but a little Not bit. Too bad. It's been worse. But thankfully, the lawn hasn't really been growing. Yeah. So we haven't had to mow in months. <laughs> yeah, probably like two months. We haven't mowed. We canceled our lawn service a while ago because this time of year they would come like every other week and we're like, we don't even need it. It was like a silly payment. They're so, just mowing dirt. 
Yes. So we Heck. got our mower and yes. whatnot. And there's just a bunch of leaves back here. We're debating on a podcast studio too today. Yeah, Cooper wants to get like a shed. I want to put like a 12 by 20 shed right here on the side of the shop. Mm hmm so that I can air condition it effectively because even air conditioning the either side of the shop is a bad move because of how big it is. Yeah, so we'd need, need to put insulation. like big AC units in there, which is yes. expensive, so. If I got a 10 by 12 by 20, we could really do it. So yeah. if you sell sheds or know anything about sheds, email me. We're gonna need a lot of like, email me in this video, I yes. feel like. email us. Oh, Jess, you're going potty next to the potty? <laughs> Yeah, Cooper. I didn't film that either. Cooper built a little. <laughs> yeah, go up and show him. No, it's gross. A little... It's not that gross. It's just a bathroom. <laughs> a little urinal. It's not gross Next at all. to the compost that he built. There it is. Yeah, that's go all. Go show compost. him how you use it. So you just go in here. And then you got a little spot. <laughs> and then there's a hose that goes out there. So you're not just like going on your feet. <laughs> it's too funny. Get out of here, Jess. And then I put some solar lights around here too because, you know, usually it's at nighttime when me and a podcast guest are filming mm -hmm. and the guest needs to come out and see and, you know, use the bathroom and see. And I don't want anybody tripping and falling. <laughs> so there's that. Here's Bowser. Hi, Bowser. Jess, how are you? Hi, buddy. What you doing? You doing good? You gonna come run me over? Here's a Blue chicken. The gray ones are plump. And we got some other ones over here. Two other gray ones, that's Franklin. But we should call her Frankie because she's a girl. Or Lynn. Here's little Alfredo. Her feet are the best part of her. But she's a little skittish. A lot of leaves back here. A lot of leaves. Going. But we've just kind of been working away. Jess is looking for an egg. And really just working, like not much going on. Cooper's been podcasting like crazy. I don't know if. Yeah, shout out the podcast channel. Bogetti Me Studios. And have been podcasting on there. Yep, we're gonna do like a bi-weekly podcast segment and just yeah, called the Bogetti Bunch. Be funny and talk, yeah. Be and funny. well, Cooper will be funny. I'll be, yeah. I'll be laughing at all your jokes because that's my job, right? <laughs> Even if they're not. Funny. I heard a funny thing that said a guy thinks a woman has a good sense of humor when she laughs at his jokes and a woman thinks a guy has a good sense of humor when he can make her laugh. Wait, 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 repeat that? A guy says, oh, she has a good sense of humor when she laughs at his jokes. Uh-huh. Like you laugh at my jokes. Yeah. And a woman says a guy has a good sense of humor when he, he can, can make, make her, her laugh. laugh. A guy that's just funny. wants a woman that laughs at his <laughs> jokes and yeah. that's what he considers a good sense of humor. A woman that's thinks you. that- That's you, that's so you. That's a pretty good meme. Okay, <laughs> that is a good meme. Now, here's our other situation at this house. Mmm, yum. Cooper hates looking at it, so. I mean, don't you? Do yes, you like no, okay. yeah, I hate it's it too. Like it was just me. I know. So. Well, we have, also we have screens from the hurricane we have to get fixed, so. Yeah, we've called like six companies and they all flake. Yeah. But. Yep. The breakdown of the pool is the, when we moved in, the pool liner is stucco and it is so bad it's just chipping away and getting ruined. So mm -hmm. when you put chemicals in there to try to bring it back to clear, it basically breaks down worse. So with trying to save the pool coloring, you keep putting more and more chemicals in, the sides break down and then also the chips end up in the filter and clog up the filter and stuff so we really have no way to um stop that from happening so we have to drain the entire pool and restucco it oh, wait, wait i thought the pool i'm making faces behind the camera like because from my understanding the pool turning green messed up the lining no it was already bad 
Well, it already bad. had some like cracks in it, but then when the pool no, turned it's been, green, like, bad all over the algae. No, it's been bad all. It's always okay. been. All it's right. always been damaged. Okay. It's not just because we let it go. Yeah, but it was like fine while we had the pool service. But it's gotten worse over time. Okay. That's what's happened. Like you're saying it would have done this regardless of keeping a pool service? It would have started to chip this bad, yeah. It's gotten to a point where it's so far chipped now mm -hmm. and trying to bring it back, you have to use so many chemicals that it chips the ground more and the chemicals get absorbed by the chips of the ground mm -hmm. and the pool is leaking. So we had a pool of of chips. We had a pool guy come and he did the like green to clean service. Yep. And he got the pool like blue, but then the bottom was all like sandy because of the lining like breaking up and it was just he was basically like you have to get the pool relined, which I looked into it and it's super expensive especially for yes. a pool this size. So, and we don't use the pool enough to like do that investment, so. I didn't want a pool when we moved yeah. into a house. Yeah. That was one of those things I didn't want. Yeah. And here we are, but my thought is turn it into a freshwater pond. Yeah, but I don't like the sound of that because I feel like that looks like trashy in our backyard, it like our pool is a pond. It would be clearer with freshwater fish. I would love to get it back to normal, but we just need to figure out how to you fix have it. You to spend $16,000 <laughs> on resurfacing the pool, and then you have to pay somebody to constantly maintain it, and then you have to drain it and fill it also. Yeah. So it has to be filled back up. So basically what we're thinking about doing is draining the pool, seeing what the surface looks like, trying to like clean it up a little bit, maybe like trying to do it ourselves, like there's pool places that... I don't want to do that I know. because I don't want to do it myself and do it wrong because it's such a big undertaking. Even yeah. even without, like, just cost of material, it's an undertaking. Mm -hmm. So it's still going to be expensive to do it yourself, but you're going to spend that on material and then maybe do it wrong, which is right, yeah. the sad part yeah. about it. So you either hire the company that knows how to do it and does it right for a lot of money, mm -hmm. or you do it potentially wrong for a lot of money. Well, and so, then pools just suck because the equipment is expensive, the chemicals are expensive, you're constantly dumping just toxic chemicals into your yard pretty much. Yeah. And then they just always break. And then you just look at this big puddle of water that you have. It's the most... Uh, I freaking hate pools. Okay. <laughs> but we have used it like here and there in the summertime. Like we, we have used the pool. It's not like we don't use it. How many times do you think you've been in the pool? Can you count them on two hands? Yes, we definitely have been. Okay, so we've one. lived here four years and she can count on both hands how many times No, she's... more than that. Like more than that, more than 10 times. I think we've been in the 20? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> but the, okay, uh, but long story 365 short. 365 days in a year, we've been here four years and she can count on her fingers and toes how many times she's been in it. <laughs> fingers and toes. <laughs> and it has okay. cost us thousands of dollars. <laughs> think about it all I know I know I know. but anyways can if anyone has any info on this or like it could be tilapia and catfish in there if you're in the area and, and want to come help us it could be please plants, do tilapia animals the dogs can still swim in there uh, I don't know you can still swim in there with fish I oh, swim in there with fish some let's turtles go, let's go show Henry too think about that the turtles I don't know if Henry was that oh. oh I showed all the animals but I'm like we gotta show Henry is he in his home Here's Henry. I had him out yesterday and we were playing. Oh, you're playing with him? Yeah, I was giving him food and stuff. <laughs> that was so cute the way you said I had him out the other day and we were playing. Yesterday, yeah. Oh, he really loves his house. It's like yeah. always in there. I mean, and he's got some mangoes that have been falling, some like little young mangoes. This is a mango tree. It's technically our neighbors, but. But it's. Yeah, they let us have some. I mean, no. Oh, look, this just... one's budding. It's yeah, starting to I mean. bud. Like they're falling on the ground and stuff. They're all budding. It's not focusing. That are budding. All the way up to there, too. I don't know how to get this thing to focus, but... Yeah. No, look, this cool. is my joke. That it's on the neighbor's yard, but 99% of it comes oh, in our yard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the like, like whole, like one little branch. the whole like main part of it is over yeah. on our side, yeah. Yeah, tough break on our pool. Yeah. Very unfortunate. 
Yep. Pools suck. Don't buy a house in the pool. <laughs> Don't get married. <laughs> That's rude. Sorry. I feel like this thing is out of focus, but. Probably, it's a G7X. Yeah. All right, well anyways, those are our updates. Maybe yep. we'll start vlogging more again. I'll try and- We have a broken hot tub too, so it's cool. Yeah. We, we really just need like the whole pool redone the area. What are you doing? Okay, well, I'll close it out then. That's the updates from us and see you in the next video.